Hello everyone, welcome to another nutrition video provided to you by JuwanSod.com and I am your host Juwan Saad and this is a quick video about nutrition and eating balanced healthy meals. So what you see in front of you here is some, some steamed marinated fish and some steamed um, vegetables, some steamed uh, seasoned green beans. I want you to tell me yes or no, is this a nutritious and um, a nutritious balanced meal for weight loss. Okay, so uh, you, gave, you gave the answer and I'm going to tell you yes and no. And for most of you, believe it or not, the answer is no, it's not. I know it looks like a healthy meal for weight loss, but for most of us, it's not. And, and really why I say yes and no, because it does depend. I mean, you know, Green beans, those are definitely a, a healthy vegetable. And you have your, your bangos, uh, excuse me, that's, that's the name of the fish, actually. It's called bangos, which is just marinated fish. So um, if you know, so if you, um, if you read my ebook, you know a little bit about uh, balanced meal. You, you want to have, uh, most of the time, you're going to be eating um, um, 55 to 60% carbohydrates, uh, 30 to 35% protein and 30% or less of your fat. Now believe it or not, we do have our protein, protein and our fat, which is in the fish. And fish is high in omega-3 fat, okay? And we have fibrous carbohydrates. But see, the problem with this meal is that it's too low in calories. You're probably thinking, what? Too low in calories? That's right. See, if you read my ebook, then you know a lot about how you want to raise your metabolism to, uh, to increase fat loss and not trying to starve your body of calories. And if you go to my website, juansot.com, and you go, and you go um, pull up my chart where I talk about foods that burn fat, green beans would be one of those vegetables. You see, there, uh, after, after your body to digest those green beans, there are actually... It's a, your body is actually going to burn more calories to digest those green beans that are actually in the green beans themselves. You see, your green beans have calories, but your body digests so many calories to digest them that you're actually going to be at a calorie loss digesting those green beans. And that may sound good, but the meal in total is too low in calories. And this is a lean protein. And uh, if you know about lean proteins, your, uh, your body go, is going to uh, burn 30% of the calories from that fish uh, di to digest it. You know, that's really good. It's low in calories. But for most of us, you're going to have to add a third course to this meal. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown rice. I'm sorry for making a little mess. And just make sure that you don't add too much, you know, because you want to keep your portion size decent. You know, now brown, uh, br uh, because brown rice, believe it or not, is high in calories. You know, and that's why you want to eat brown, you want to eat brown rice and not white rice, because white rice has no fiber, okay? And, if you, and, and another thing, in case you don't know, protein doesn't have any fiber at all. The brown rice has fiber, and the vegetables have a lot of fiber. Um, white rice has none, that's why you eat brown rice. And your body's gonna take a while to digest that. And now this is now this is a healthy, balanced meal. You have your fibrous carbs, your starchy carbs, and your protein. Now, why I say yes and no because it depends on um, on, on where you are, and it depends on the time of day that you're at. For example, uh, for example, if you're carb cycling and you're eating this meal late in the evening, then you you want to eat less. You want you can leave out the the, the brown rice. You could just eat the meat, uh, the, the green beans and the fish because it, it, uh, later in the day, your body is burning less energy. And this is all things I talk about in my book. Your body is burning less energy, so you don't really, really want to put those extra calories into your body. But for me, it's, uh, it's just after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is just my fourth meal of the day. I still have two more meals to, to go. And so I want to add my brown rice. Now my final two meals are going to be uh, aren't going to have any starchy carbs, but um, and that's best because where I am in my fitness routine. But if you're not carb cycling, then the only uh, most for most of us, if you're still high in body fat, 
You're, you should be wanting to have more energy and let your energy burn the calories and not trying to starve yourself of calories. And so, uh, for, for, so for everyone, your final meal of the day shouldn't have any starchy carbs. But for, for the average person, you want to have um, starchy carbs with almost every single meal except the, the last one. And I would probably say with just about everyone, you don't want to have any starchy carbs with your last meal because you're going to, because when you're sleeping, your body burns almost no calories at all. And you're going to have a really good chance of putting those calories on as fat. Even, even in healthy carbs like brown rice and whole wheat bread and um, potatoes, for example, those are healthy starchy carbs, but they're still high in calories. So that's really my lesson, my quick lesson for uh, this video, and I hope you learned something. This would be an example of a healthy, balanced meal, uh, meal for weight loss. And thank you, and have a great day. Visit juwansaad.com and, uh, and, 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 and uh, check out that, that chart that I mentioned, Vegetables That Burn Fat, and get a copy of my ebook if you haven't done so already. Thank you. Take care.